Welcome to my channel Programming with Vishnu. Today we are going to discuss another programming question which is asked previously in Accenture in the last year 2022 August. Okay, so <clears throat> we will see what is the question. Okay, see in the question what is they are asking here is it the um, function is there which will accept two integers, two integers integer n integer m. There are two integers. There is a one function which will accept the two integers. We have to find out the sum of all numbers. See, suppose <coughs> of all the numbers range from 1 to m. 1 to m. Suppose consider m is consider a m is 20. Means we have to find out the sum of 1 to 20. Okay. We have to find out the sum of 1 to 20. Then that are not divisible by n. Okay. We need to find out both inclusive. We have to find out the Suppose in 1, 2, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 20. What are the divisible by 4? 4 is divisible by 4. 8 is divisible by 4. So this is separately I need to find out. And which are not divisible by 4. That also I need to separately define. I need to separately do the sum. What I have to do? Once I did the sum. Once we find out the sum of 2. Which is divisible by n. Which is not divisible by n. Then what do we have to do? Return the difference between the sum of integers not divisible by n, which are all not divisible by n, not divisible by n, minus divisible by n. We have to return. We have to return. See, what is the assumption they given? n greater than m greater than 0. Means input will never be the 0 or minus values. Inputs are always greater than 0. Means it will start from 1 to the infinity how much in how much number it you can expect 4 10 20 also we can expect okay sum lies between internal range <clears throat> okay now see here observe we have an example let's discuss about this example first first what are they given n equal to 4 they given m equal to 20 they given okay now see here as i said what are the divisible by the 4 are 4 8 12 16 20 what is the sum of this 60 okay which are the numbers are not divisible means 1 2 3 5 6 7 9 10 11 13 14 15 17 18 19 what is the sum of total 150 what we have written not divisible by divisible means 150 minus 60 which is equal to 90 see output is 90 Okay, here we have one more example. See, m n is equal to 3, m is equal to 10. Means, what are the divisible by 3? 3, 6, 9. 3, 6, 9 means 18. Okay, not divisible by 3 is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 10. Okay, now observe here. 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 4, 7, 7 plus 5, 12, 12 plus 7, 19, 19 plus 8, 27, 27 plus 10, 37. Okay, now what is the difference between the 37 into 18? 17 minus 8, 9, 2 minus 1, 19. See, output is 19. This is what the question. Okay, how we are going to, how we are going to write a program, we will see. I think you all understood the question. Okay, now see what they said, we will have the one function accepts two integers. Now see here, this is the way you will have in your exam, okay, what it will be there here, observe, here it will be one sentence will be there, write your code here, so now this return 0 is forgot, why they kept return 0 means if it didn't have the return 0 it will throw error, because this is the return method, na? see that's why. Okay, now observe here. <clears throat> here what we have? Int, first we will take n, then we will take m. Okay, what is the n? n you have to think which is divisible by n. m means end of the range. Okay, now see what I am taking here. First I am taking here sum 1 equal to 0. What is this sum 1 old? Sum of divisible by n okay next int sum 2 equal to 0 what the sum 2 will hold sum of divisible 
sum of not divisible by n by n okay observe here see <coughs> now what you have to do understand how to execute now what you have to what is here we are doing observe how we are going to solve this see here what they said everything will start range from 1 1 to 1 to m it will go okay now observe 1 to m means we have to go from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 to m okay what is the starting point starting point is 1 ending point is m after m we have to stop when we reach the m we have to stop so we have to write one for loop for what is the starting point in the i equal to 1 then where we have to stop we have to go up to i less than or equal to m m also is included if you observe here when the 20 is there 20 is also included means you have to keep less than or equal to m then what is happening here one to one element to another element if the value is increasing i plus plus i plus plus now here what you have to do you have to write one condition what condition you have to write first you need to check if if i divisible by n equal to equal to zero if suppose the value is the i value is this value is divisible by n means then what you have to do sum 1 equal to sum 1 plus i means you suppose if 0 0 plus 1 next 1 plus 2 like that okay next what you have to do suppose if not if, if it is not divisible means else you have to do sum 2 equal to sum 2 plus i then what you have to return you have to return not divisible means sum 2 sum 2 minus sum 1 okay this is the way you need to write see we will write here we already take two variables first one is holding the divisible of n second one is a not divisible values see i am writing a for loop from where i am starting int i equal to 1 i less than r equal to m i plus plus now observe here what I am doing here if i modulus of n equal to equal to 0. Suppose if divisible sum 1 equal to sum 1 plus i. Okay. Else else sum 2. If not divisible sum 2 right. Sum 2 equal to sum 2 plus i. Then what you have to return here? You have to return what is the question if you observe see question what they are saying uh, return the difference between the sum of integers not divisible by n which is the sum of integers sum of the numbers divisible by n not divisible means sum 2 sum return sum 2 minus sum 1 now observe here what I did here, I took 420 as give as you like 420. What is the expected output? 90. See, when I run this program, see 10, we are coming somewhere. We did a mistake. Let's find out where we did the mistake. Okay, ah, uh, we did it wrong. See, we are passing m 20 n no like this see now we will go here we will change first we need to send n we need to send m okay now what we are seeing here if you do that means 24 will come in the 4 24 okay now observe here see 90 when the in what happened just before i will tell you what happened here when we are when we are giving reverse we are sending n equal to 20 m equal to 4 okay then what will happen 1 2 3 4 will happen nothing will be divisible by 20 so 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 4 plus 3 7 7 plus 2 9 9 plus 1 10 that's why it is returning 10 okay this is the way okay next we'll see one more we have the test case 3 10 will give you 
3, 10. We will pass the values 3, we are changing here 3, we are changing here 10. See 19, as expected, the output came 19. This is the way you have to solve. You when the exam, when you are writing exam, okay, you don't need to worry about this driver code. Only wherever you they given write code here, you need to fill this one. Return, you have to return the correct value. The remaining thing, everything they'll take care once you run the program. This is what? Difference of sum. Okay. I hope you all understood. This is previously asked in essential. Okay, coding test practice if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching please subscribe and share the video